Hello my mystic tribe, welcome back. I hope that you are doing super super well and welcome to the maternity era. Um, so as you guys know I am on maternity leave at this point in time so I hope that you are rocking, rolling and doing absolutely everything that is making your life joyous and wonderful. <laughs> what we're going to do today is your person's secret thoughts about you. So I'm going to go into the energy of the person that you're asking about. It can be absolutely anyone. It doesn't have to be specifically a lover. But we're going to go into their secret thoughts about you and we're going to see what comes up. Now I've got two decks for you to pick from. Those of you that want to know the decks. This one is the Elemental Power Tarot and this one is Tarot of Tales. They are sister decks. They are made by the same creator. Both very, very beautiful decks. I absolutely love them. So, their secret thoughts about you. Number one. Number two. Let's go. Deck number one. So yeah, maternity leave. Doing super well, I'd like to think. I'm recording these in advance, so I don't actually know. Um, but I presume I'm going, going super, super well. So what I need you to do is just think about the person, whoever it may be, that you are asking about. My resident squirrel, we have a squirrel um, that lives in the tree opposite us and he's just kind of gone along. Now squirrels are very much a sign um, when we start doing readings like this. They're very much a sign of that kind of habitual energy, that nurturing energy, that kind of nesting energy going on. So as we're going into your cards, it's quite interesting that we have the squirrel popping into your reading to begin with. Because they're saying that, you know, that there is this nurturing energy that's going on between you and them. But you might not feel it at the moment. So secret thoughts about you, it's about nesting, it's about rooting down. What are their secret thoughts about you? Their secret thoughts about those watching. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've seen so many ones energy. Okay, let me show you this. Could we have any more ones? I pulled five cards. And these are all ones, four of them are ones, and one of them is pentacles. So, <laughs> the cards that you have got are the ten of wands, the three of wands, the five of wands, and the seven of wands. So we have this very strong, passionate, desire energy going on between the two of you. Your person we know from kind of the squirrel going past that there is this kind of a nesting energy, this nurturing energy, this kind energy, but this is definitely not being reflected in the cards. In the cards, your person is very much acting on desire. They're acting on passion, perhaps acting a little bit on self-interest, for are saying to me. Um, and the, the one card, the pentacles, kind of coming in the end. This is where the squirrel will come in at the end of your reading and say, well, you know what? Bit of nurturing, bit of kind, bit of giving and receiving all going on over here. So your person's secret thoughts about you, let's break this down. They are burdened by the situation at this point in time. So it looks like there's been a lot of things going on in their mind over the connection with you, a lot of thoughts over it all. Um, and they haven't really, Spirit is saying to me that they've tried to add two and two and they've made about 10 <laughs> over the situation. And that's why the behaviour is acting a little bit weird with you. You might find they're a little bit hot, a little bit cold, a little bit here, a little bit that. You've got this mixed up energy going on with them and it's because they are feeling quite burdened by the situation. Now, what is burdening them is we've got the self-defence over here with the seven of ones and we also have the five of ones as well. Okay, so what is burdening them from the situation? is that they've been through a lot of the hardships in their life they've been through these very difficult times not necessarily with you though it could be but they've had problems perhaps with exes with family members with you know perhaps even addictive tendencies whatever their their crypt their difficult times have been um is burdening them with regard to this connection so this is why they are acting the way that they are acting they've got a lot of mental kind of torment or pain going on within that within the thought process and so when it comes to you and them it's a lot easier for them to act on sexual desire than going through the kind of more emotional state and this relationship is lacking you know it's lacking stability it's lacking emotions and it's a it's lacking kind of the thought process the intuition your person is very much here with this desire and passion that perhaps a bit of escapism follows this as well Okay, so it's a bit of a mixed bag, 
the seven of ones like i said is that your person's been feeling quite conflicted over it all that they've had to stand up for themselves all their life and they don't really know what they want and they don't really know what they're doing they're just taking their time to see what's going on and with the five of ones this is that conflicting energy happening as well so they're in their head and their heart they're battling you know, they're hiding away from emotions. They're like, if I start focusing on emotions, it makes me weak. It makes me vulnerable. So I don't want to do that. I want to just focus on desire. And if I focus on desire, then I'm saving myself all the grief that comes with it. And again, that's why that actions have probably been a little bit standoffish or a little bit cold or a little bit icy. Um, that is how they are acting over it all. Now, the last card over here with the ones energy was the three of ones, which is about creating action. But again, it is this desire energy, it's this passionate energy. So there's movement coming towards you based on what they want to achieve in their life, but they don't really know what they want to achieve in their life at the moment. So they're winging it. And that's the energy. That's what's going on. So secret thoughts about you. Very much about desire. Very much about passion. Very much about sex, about chemistry, about connection. You have all of that. No doubt. What you're lacking is stability and security. Your person hiding away from the emotional side of things. Not wanting to kind of take those emotions and bring them to the, the surface. Hiding away from that. You've got that they've had to defend themselves all their life and so they're looking for something that's a little bit easier at the moment. Also that spirit is saying to me there's deep-rooted jealousy issues as well. Okay, so jealousy coming into this, whether that's yours or theirs, jealousy issues coming up here. It's a whole big pile of conflicted energy in your person's secret thoughts about you. Now, the one card <laughs> that kind of comes up. Now, Six of Pentacles can sometimes be a third party situation. So we've already spoke about, you know, the, the kind of baggage that comes with the Seven of Wands. Um, you can have like the addiction side of things. You can have third parties, like other people involved in situations, family. This energy can come up here, okay, with the Six of Pence. So there is this influence or potentially an influence of other things going on in your person's life, which is making them act to this way. But the other side of this, and this is where I have faith with the little squirrel kind of coming along, is that, you know, there is this, this need for settling down and nurturing. They know that this behavior over here can't last for he forever but at the moment they're in this kind of mind frame of I'm not ready to settle down I'm not ready to take the next steps and that's why this one's coming up so we have this gift of kind of giving and receiving um they feel that this relationship can have a fair balance but at the moment they're in their head over it they know with the squirrel going past that there can be a lot of nurturing and love and connection bringing the two of you together but at the moment, they're too in their, too in their head over it all and not really dwell, and not really thinking about the longer term goals, longer term objectives. They are just very much in the here and now and focusing on desire and passion. So that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull you a little Forest Bay card for a bit of advice. And um, the best you got me these for my birthday. Absolutely dead cute. Um, and I feel like you guys need one because that reading has probably just confused you even more. Okay. So it says the old paths walk in unknown territory to see things from a new perspective. OK, so what this card is saying is over here is that, you know, not all is often as it seems. There can be other things that are going to come to light from a situation. And sometimes it's important to take a bird's eye view of specific situations. And we know that with your person's. I've lost all the, your ones cards, it's these ones, with all these ones that have been going on with your person that they are battling their own demons at this moment in time. And because of that, it would be a good idea for you guys to kind of take a step back and just see things from a different perspective and see what they are going through. So a little bit of advice for you there. Now, as obviously that is a collective reading, so individual readings can be totally um, different, but normally there will be resonation in some of that reading for you. Um, if you want me for private readings, just find me on Instagram, Mystic Love Tarot, um, and stay up to date on that on when I'm going to be working because at the moment I'm on maternity leave. That's day number one. Okay, <laughs> scooting over to deck number two. Hello, my loves. Hope you are doing well. So today what we're going to do is we are just going into the energy of their secret thoughts towards you, you and the person that you are asking about. What are their secret thoughts towards you? Just had a very interesting reading with deck number one that it all came out once. There was one, one pentacles card. 
Um, so as always, it is a collective reading. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and there uh, and enjoy. So you've got the Hanged Man, Page of Wands, Three of Cups, Five of Swords, Two of Wands. Okay, Person's Secret Thoughts About You. Oh, we've got a hidden card as well, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so one, one card hiding away in the background for you. Let's start at the very beginning and work our way through. And in fact, I'm going to read down. I'm going to read it as a duo because that is what Spirit are telling me to do. Hanged Man and Five of Swords coming out together to begin with. So your person and you might be in this state of stagnation at this moment in time with not much really going on. It is in the more silent times that we have the greatest epiphanies and have the biggest thoughts about what it is we're doing with our life and where we are going. Now, with the Five of Swords coming up with this, we have this sense of betrayal. So your person has probably been hurt by a situation, maybe the situation with you, um, but they're feeling a little bit lost over it all. And whilst they're in this sense of loss, they aren't doing anything about the connection with you. I feel that they are going through their thoughts and analysing what's going on. They are very much thinking of you and thinking about how things could be different, what they should do differently, how they can heal from specific situations. Again, perhaps with you, perhaps from the past, that energy of healing needing to come up. And at the moment, they're just like, well, I don't really know what to do, so I'm just going to sit still and wait to see what happens. Now, the hanged man always kind of takes you to Odin and the tree of Idrisil. Now, if you guys don't know the story, Odin went to the tree of Idrisil where he hung the hanged man for nine days, nine nights to learn the wisdom of the runes. OK, so very, very old pagan story. And this is where the hanged man comes in. Now, nine days might be important for you. Nine days, nine, nine nights might be an important timing for you. But other than that, it is all about gaining wisdom through perspective. So through this pain that they've been through, through this hardship, they are gaining wisdom, okay? So when looking at their secret thoughts for you, it's like these dark thoughts that have happened, these heavier times that have happened are gaining them insight into what they want. Ooh, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, next two, page of ones, two of ones, back to the ones energy. But we have messages coming through and your person thinking about you and thinking about the next steps they want to take. So if you aren't in contact, this is your indicator to say that they will be messaging you. Um, and they are definitely thinking about doing that at this point in time. The messages that you can expect to receive are going to be more of a passionate thing rather than an emotional connection. So they aren't going to come to you and say, I've fallen in love with you. They're going to be more like, hey, you're looking hot today. I'm checking it out. <laughs> um, but they have been having these thoughts and these feelings towards you. So this stagnancy is soon going to end and those messages are soon going to be coming through. Their secret thoughts about this is that desire, there's that passion, there's that sexual chemistry, sexual connection, and the wanting to reach out to you and speak to you about it, okay? Pathway is being lit up. Pathway's lit up for them, and they're gonna make a choice of reaching out with the page of ones coming next to it. Two cards, two 1D energies, messages, okay? So even though things might be a bit quiet, there's still this desire, there's still this wanting to reach out and connect. And then the last two cards that you got were the Ace of Pentacles and Three of Cups. So these are really good, okay? So what we've got going on here is once they have decided to reach out to you, they're perhaps going to talk to you about gaining stability and security of the connection and enjoying the celebration that the two of you share together. You might find that there are social occasions you get invited to, weddings, parties, birthdays. All of that, you also might get birthday text messages as well. So if you guys are coming up with birthdays, their birthdays, your birthdays, there's a potential for birthday messages coming through. But new beginnings coming up as well. So their secret thoughts about you is even though things are stagnant at this point in time, it's short lived, they're going to message you, they want to speak to you and they can see that there's a new beginning going on. The new beginning that they want to offer you is much more stability based. So they'll, they'll take the time of it with the page of ones before. Over here. They're going to take, they're going to kind of message you. When it comes to building that stability and security, they're going to want to take their time of it. So quite a quick messaging, but building is something that they want to grow over, which suggests that they see that this can have a long term future. And with the Three of Cups coming in, that's that celebration at the end. So even though things might be stagnant for you guys right now, it's going to shift super, super soon. 
super 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 okay and i'm just gonna pull you uh one of these for a bit of advice because i did with deck number one what are their secret thoughts about you okay um, and you've got the they're just so i just love them they're so cute the honey mother sometimes the greatest magic lies in the smallest of forms and this kind of takes us back to what i was saying about the tree of idrisal and the, the wisdom of the runes even though things might not be that clear for you right now do not panic because it is in those times of stagnancy that we have the biggest, brightest blessings and ideas. And with this, sometimes the greatest magic lies in the smallest of forms. You might feel that silence is very loud at the moment, but it's there that magic is actually happening. So have faith. And that's step number two. I love you all and I will speak to you soon. Many, many blessings. Bye, guys.